Number six, gravity is selective. Flat earthers sometimes ask, how can gravity hold the oceans but allow butterflies to fly? Or why aren't we crushed if gravity is so strong that it can hold the oceans? Well, this is based on another misconception. They seem to think it is hard to hold heavy things down to the earth. No, that is backwards. It is easier to hold heavier things than light things. Heavy things like water react more strongly to gravity than light things. Like I said before, that is why you can easily pick up a baseball, but not a car. The car has more mass, so it reacts more to gravity, not less. Oceans are very heavy, so they are pulled very strongly to the earth, while a butterfly is very light, so it can easily fly by flapping its wings to create lift, counteracting gravity. Flat earthers seem to think that there is some force trying to pull the oceans off the earth, but there isn't. What force do they think that is? Do they think there is a pull south of the earth? No, there isn't. Why would there be? What would be the cause of that? They simply have taken for granted their whole lives that things are pulled down, but cannot wrap their heads around the fact that the down they experience is always toward the center of the earth, not some mysterious universal down that has no explanation.